Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about is grass-fed beef or meat from other grass ruminating animals better than its grain-fed counterpart? Is it worth the extra cost? Will switching to grass-fed meat improve your athletic performance? So let's see what the best available evidence says about the differences between grass-fed meat and grain-fed meat. Is there any real difference or are you just throwing your money down the drain? So I came across this excellent article in the Nutrition Journal published in 2010 um, while spending my time at Inspire Health doing my Flex project. They found that there were a multitude of differences between the grass-fed meat and the grain-fed meat. In this video, I'm going to slowly walk you through the myriad of differences between grass-fed meat and grain-fed meat and why switching to grass-fed meat can improve your health and improve your performance. So why does grass-fed meat have a better saturated fatty acid profile than grain-fed meat? comes to the simple fact that not all saturated fat is created equal. So saturated fatty acid can be classified by the number of carbon chains in the acid moiety of the saturated fatty acid. So shorter saturated fatty acids tend to have a net increasing effect on serum cholesterol. Conversely, longer saturated fatty acids, such as steric acid, which is an 18 carbon saturated fatty acid, has no net effect on serum cholesterol levels, including LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol. Grass-fed meat compared to grain-fed meat has much more of these longer carbon saturated fatty acids, which have a neutral effect on serum cholesterol levels, versus grain-fed meat have lower levels of these longer carbon chains and higher levels of the cholesterol-raising saturated fatty acid. So not only does grass-fed meat have a better saturated fatty acid profile, but it also contains the really important monounsaturated fatty acid, transvacenic acid, or it's known as TVA. This fatty acid is really important because it helps promote your, the body to create conjugated linoleic acid, or it is known as CLA. Why is this fatty acid so important? Because when it is synthesized in the body, it has very potent anti-cancerous effects. And grass-fed meat has much higher levels of TVA compared to grain-fed meat. Further, grass-fed meat had higher level of omega-3 fatty acid compared to grain-fed um, meat. Further, grass-fed meat also has higher levels of vitamin A and vitamin E precursors. And not only do um, grass-fed meat contain higher levels of um, vitamin A and E, which acts as potent antioxidants in our body, but they also contain other proteins that act as potent antioxidants. And these antioxidants are in higher levels in the grass-fed meat versus the grain-fed meat are glutathione. Glutathione is a new protein that's been receiving a lot of attention recently as a really powerful antioxidant. It's a tripeptide, which means it's a protein created three amino acids. So this protein in the body protects cells from oxidized lipids, proteins, and protects the DNA from damage. Further, it is readily digested through the small intestine, so it has a high bioavailability. Not only does grass-fed meat, compared to grain-fed meat, have high levels of glutathione, they also have higher levels of superoxide, dismutase, and catalase, which work together as powerful antioxidants. So in conclusion, grass-fed meat has a better saturated fatty acid profile that's going to be more neutral to your serum cholesterol levels, which was a really important factor in predicting cardiovascular disease. Further, it contains much more statistically significant amount of antioxidants, which are going to help fuel your recovery and prevent damage to your DNA. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you better understand the differences and the unique benefits of eating grass-fed meat versus grain-fed meat. Thank you for watching and please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you.